so hey guys welcome back to another vlog today is friday i was supposed to start the vlog like earlier on in the vlog but i'm starting it really late unfortunately if i looked very zoomed in because usually it's like there but now it's a bit more closer if i look so zoomed in do you know why bro when i was coming back from turkey in my last vlog i dropped my camera in the toilet and my lens like my wide angle lens fell off and it slid under like the toilet doors and it went in and i don't know which one it went into there was like 14 like there was like eight on each side it went into one of them and i waited for everybody to come out of every single one and the camera lens was not there which means whoever was in the toilet took it like someone took it it was not in any of the toilets that don't make no sense so i don't have a wide angle no more i think i do have one in my box of gadgets so i am gonna look tonight to see if i have one i am currently watching some gina jean so if you can hear her in the back that's exactly why i actually love watching some gina honestly like seriously but yeah like i was saying so if i look really close and not like how i used to look it's because someone stole my lens like i dropped it it slid under the toilet door whichever one i waited for everybody to come up each toilet it was not there and it's at the airport so people have got bags they've got pockets someone picked that shit up and put it in their fucking pocket i should have tripped up everyone that was in the toilet i should have tripped up every single person in there because what the hell so now i have to buy another one but like i said i think i might have one in my gadget box i'm gonna have a look that's annoying like what the hell anyways it's a weekend vlog i'm not actually doing much this weekend i don't think i'm doing anything i think i might be going out on sunday so if i am you'll see that but i'm not sure if i'll vlog um tomorrow i literally just have to clean my room room is so messy like from my trip i've just unpacked and like my room has just been getting messy i'm still waiting for some plt parcels i ordered the perfume still waiting for that like i got a few things on the way that i'm still waiting for that still can't reach yet where them there them still can't reach yet i'm still waiting i don't even know what else i need to do i'm going out on tuesday so let's hope my outfit comes in this vlog so i can show you what i'm wearing I should have came on the camera earlier, but I was literally editing my vlog from Turkey. So obviously, it's not focused. Obvi Why is it not focused? Yeah. Obviously, I wanted to get that done before I started a new vlog because it all includes deleting footage and just making sure that video gets out right. Do you know, all my days, before I posted that Turkish vlog, do you know that there was a 55-minute vlog that I had waiting for you guys that I put, bro, I put that on my LumaFusion, ready to save and post. Like, it was done. The whole thing shut down and it deleted the whole vlog. Is that not crazy? And I had two sponsorships in there. That's pain. One of them was this wig. Like, that's mad annoying. But anyways, on a brighter note, we start a new vlog again. Just a weekend one because I feel like, why not? And I'll start a new one on Monday, of course. But that's that's annoying. Like, that really, really broke my heart. Like, I was really upset. Like, I was really, really upset. <laughs> I was really upset. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to chill with you guys probably in like 20, 30 minutes. I don't know. I'm just to get myself together. I am about to order something though of Sports Direct. I've seen Glorilla in this ski mask. She has this Nike ski mask that I just love on her. And I've been wearing ski masks lately, so I'm about to order it. And I feel like because it's cold as well, the ski mask just makes sense. And obviously with my lashes done, which I do need to get in infill soon by Empire Beauty. So if you're watching, babe, I'm going to book soon for infill. And I'm definitely getting bottoms. I say that and then I get there. My eyes burning me so much I can't get an infill. Obviously this time I didn't get an infill only because I had a makeup appointment with Lara. And there was um me thinking that she was going to do under eye makeup. And I just didn't want like the lashes to be like in the way but she said she can do it so next time i know that i can get bottoms and i definitely will i am doing my hair on tuesday but that's going to be in different vlogs not going to be in this vlog but yeah um i'm gonna buy that ski mask right now i'm gonna buy that ski mask i also need to buy a water pick for my teeth i do have one from amazon but i want a stronger flosser like a like a heavy pressure duty one and i think i need to buy some floss but that i can get in the grocery store i don't need to like order that off amazon but yeah i'm gonna tune in you guys probably tomorrow actually forget coming back on the camera i'm gonna tune in you guys tomorrow morning because i need to go to the gym i need to clean my room make sure my deliveries come yeah I, I got some stuff to do tomorrow so i'll tune in you guys tomorrow I need to stop doing is opening these bags in the middle because when I need to send them back I have to put bare duct tape like <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that that's just so ghetto like open it properly the fuck? 
So the first thing I got is this beanie. This is the PLT Tabstone beanie. Now I got this because, you know that um, brown coat that I got from Zara? I felt like I couldn't be wearing that black beanie and I needed a quick beanie. Now I am gonna buy a proper beanie, like a one that I really like, but I needed one that was like this type of color to match the brown because obviously the beanie I am gonna buy is gray and black, so. It's no point. Oh, this is good. This is big. Because you know some beanies are so small. Oh, this is cute. This is nice and big. I don't like this black thing though. The black thing is not that bad, but it's just so, like, it's in your face. This is cute. And it's got bare space. Like, it really does calm down. This is cute. This is cute. And I'll wear this with the brown Zara coat. I'll probably wear this tomorrow, actually. Next, we have the brown shape dress. Now, this dress is mad plunge. Like, I, I, listen, I ain't worn a plunge, plunge dress like this since I got back from Saturday. Like, I've worn something that showed my boobs, which is the black and white silk set from Jolly She, but I ain't worn something like this. Oh, this is cold. They must have had this in the fat in the van for ages. So, it's this brown chocolate plunge dress. Like, Oh my god, the girls are going to be sitting in this. It's kind of see-through though. You can literally see, you can literally see the light through the dress. Like, you can see the light more than you can see it on the wall. That's crazy. But this is the shaped chocolate brown slinky plunge long sleeve bodycon dress. I got it in a size 12. Looking at it, I could have probably got a 10. Um, but I think the 12 will definitely feel probably be a bit longer. I do get 12s now because I still have a big behind like my bum is big at the back and then obviously the hips. So that's why I get a 12 but I know I'm a 10 now. But you know, this is cute. I think it's cute. I think it'll look nice on but I probably would wear some boob tape. I don't per se need boob tape because my boobs actually sit now. But just to like tape it in place, because obviously they're, they're still natural, like they still move. They're not like implants that are stiff, so I still need some sort of tape. But this is a cute dress. I do like this one. This is nice. I plan on wearing this with gold accessories as well. Next, we have the two piece that I'm most excited to wear. I got the top in a 14. I don't think I'm a 14 because I was a 14 before surgery, so I could have got a 12, but I just wanted to be safe. This is the charcoal forks leather rushed bust curb hem t-shirt and it does come with some pants so this is the top i think the top is going to fit me just fine but again i could have probably sized down in a 12 yeah because it has a bit of like stretch to it when i tell you post up i'm coming with the fits it's not a joke obviously the bottoms are what's the name of them the bottoms are the charcoal forks leather dip waist flare trousers in a size 12 i got these in a 12 because the model was wearing like a six and the six looks so baggy and obviously I know I'm going to be able to fill it out, I hope. It has some stretch. I feel like I could have got a 10. Oh my days, you just don't know with PLT. I'm going to try it on, but it's got a bit of like, you know, firmness. I'm going to try this on, but I really plan on wearing this with silver. I think the colour's nice, like, that colour's nice with my braids. Oh, I, listen, you guys don't understand, like, I'm really in my bag now when it comes to like dressing up and stuff like and I feel it as well I feel it as well because I've come back from from Turkey from, from doing a BBL and I and I ain't posted in like a month my post got like 2k in one day that now for some people that's like nothing but for me that's a lot in one day it took me like four months to get a picture to 2k my followers are sitting at 7,000 on Instagram Bitch, do you know I was at 5k for the longest time like things are really moving up in this in this and i really really love that for me honestly i can't wait to reach 10k on all platforms i can't wait to reach 10k on youtube and instagram like honestly like it's not like a goal of mine but it's achievement like I, i'll be so happy for real yeah that's what i'm trying to wear that's how it looks on i really can't wait to wear this this leather set though like i just really like it like it just it just gives like it's a cute outfit especially with the with the new mouth like oh yeah man I'm so happy, like, I'd just be sitting here like this. Just smiling for no reason. Yeah, man. I'm now gonna tune in tomorrow. I just thought I should just show you that because it literally just arrived. There was no point waiting until tomorrow. So, good morning, guys. It's currently 11.38 in the afternoon. Afternoon. It's 11.38 in the morning. I don't know what... I don't know why this doesn't really focus the way it should, but it's 11.38. I don't know what kind of vlog this has been. Like, I barely vlogged, but I'm going to vlog today, so it's not going to be a, a weekend vlog, is it? Because I barely was on camera yesterday. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless me, I need some wipes. Um, there was no particular reason, like, 
I just don't know, I just wasn't feeling yesterday. Um, but I do have something to say. I spoke about this on my live actually. Maybe because the conversation of dating came up with my mum. And then I went to ask, like not ask, but I went to tell live like what they think about that and tell them my point of view. And um, let me just tell you this, like, if you want surgery and BBL or whatever, da, 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 what they're saying is not a lie, like, you need to have a strong mind, you need to have a strong mind, you need to not be weak-minded, you need to know how to handle the attention, because honestly, if you don't know how to handle any of the attention, you're gonna fail, like, you're, you're gonna go down drastically, like, honestly, it's not a joke, like, even, I feel like even just women that are just naturally curvy can honestly vouch, like, if you don't know how to maneuver around the attention that you get when you have surgery and stuff you're gonna just go downhill like everybody that comes to you you're just gonna accept them um and that's something i've seen with girls already but that's not me though so that's good i'm happy i'm not like that but who's to say that i can't be like that like it's easy to fall into that type of trap especially if he wasn't used to getting a lot of male attention before your procedure and you get hella attention after it's easy to fall into a trap and that's just a conversation that i was having on live and like everyone was actually agreeing with me and you know what the thing is with guys yeah you can even do something so small like just doing your lips or doing your nails every month or doing your hair every month they already put you in this category of high maintenance so can you imagine getting procedures like they're looking at you like you're a doll, like you're you're not even a person, like you're object that you upkeep, like that's how they're viewing you. But that's just something I just wanted to tell you guys on camera that I've been thinking about. And also like finding like a little bay when you're like BBL gang, should I say. It's difficult, like it's not it's not as easy as people make it seem. Like obviously you see in America like girls always got a man. Girls with BBLs and the surgery or whatever, they always have a man. A long term man that is like they always have one but in the uk it's not the same like the guys are not looking at us the same like if you got bbl you're not gang you're good for one night and that's it so you know that's just something that i've been thinking about it's not something that makes me sad or nothing because i know what i can do like i know what i hold i know i'm not just for a one night like i know i'm not that type of person but still like even if you're not that type of person or not that type of girl it doesn't change how people can view you do you know what i mean but that's just something i wanted to just bring up so comment down below what you think of that obviously this is not me saying that i didn't know before i had surgery like i'm not dumb like i knew exactly what type of you know label i would get from like the other gender not that i really care about the label but i would I, i'm not dumb like i know that don't bother me but i'm just saying that now that i'm like in it like i'm like I've got the surgery, it's been months, well it's been two months now, just going on two months, I've now started to see what the girls have been saying, like guys look at you like an object, <laughs> like an object, and some guys just want to bloody talk to you, like you get a lot of people that just want to talk to you, like they just want to be able to say they spoke to you, they just want to be able to say that they know you, like they, like the guys act like begs, they just want to be able to say they know you, they've spoken to you, like it's ridiculous, that's why I be airing the out of people like it's not a joke i'm airing the f guys like seriously like leave me alone you pest but yeah that's just something i wanted to like bring up today because it has been playing on my mind like damn like will i find someone but then again honestly i'm kind of over it like i don't care about finding no one no more like i don't care anymore like i'm really on my future behavior now like full effect i don't care about finding no love i don't care about rekindling no no love like that's it i'm done because i've been saying i was done and i wasn't now i'm truly done like it ran me into the ground i'm not turning back like seriously but anyways on a brighter note i think it's a brighter note look at my room i need to clean my room like when do I not need to clean my room? But it's Sunday. So I'm going to put on some good old dance hall, some good old reggae. And I'm going to clean out my room. I do want to vacuum my room because I've got this new vacuum that I want to share with you guys. And I ain't showing you guys. And it's really, like, aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to tidy up. And I'm going to clear the floor because that's what I need to do. I need to fold the clothes, make my bed, clear my desk. And then once my floor's free, I'm going to just show you this little vacuum. Because yeah you guys need to see this you guys need this in fact so today's video is sponsored by the blue this is the best vacuum that i've had listen i'm not even just saying that listen girl to girl this is the best vacuum it's so aesthetically pleasing you know i do a lot of things for the aesthetics it's easy to like clip together and overall just looks good and it just takes up minimum space but just wait for the points that i'm about to make Why 
one thing I do like about this vacuum cleaner is that you don't need to like warm mount it or do anything like that. This vacuum can literally stand on its own and that's something I appreciate for space purposes. As you can see as well while I'm vacuuming, there's a small light. So obviously when I'm getting into dark places, the light actually helps. And I think that's so like genius because a lot of vacuums don't have a light. They're just real olden style. Like this one is very modern and I love that about it literally. As you saw, I did like a little battery and I really like that battery because it offers up to about 50 minutes to an hour of life to vacuum. Vacuums even need to be plugged in or they're dying very quickly. This one got a lot of battery life and I love that. So I just received an Amazon delivery. This is part of the, I think this is all part of the Black Friday discount. So I got a water pick for my teeth, so it's a water flosser. And I got some double-sided blue tape. There wasn't anything I wanted, like, what I want is not from Amazon, first of all, from other places. And second of all, they don't really be, bro, the Black Friday is not really Black Friday in, like, especially in this cost of living, like, it just is, it's just not giving. But I did need a water flosser because obviously I just got these teeth done and this is what you need. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, I got black because I just feel like black is the best. I even use it right now because I just had some Cheetos. So I'm going to put it to the test. I really hope it has a high pressure because that's what I need. High pressure to really get in the nooks and crannies of my teeth. Let me show you what it actually looks like. So this is what the water pick looks like. So you put all the water in here and you can obviously change the modes. So you turn it on. It's got low, high, medium. It's got pulse. It's got lowest. Obviously, I'll be using it on high because that's just how I am. And then you turn it on from here. And obviously, all the water will pump out of here. So, that's good. I think it's so nice. And it comes with a little bag as well if you want to carry it. Because I'll be carrying this when I'm traveling, boy, because I'm going to need this. Like It does come with four other heads as well. I need to figure out which one I'm going to use for real because I don't even know. I honestly don't even know. I think the head that I put on it is the best. I think this head is the one that I'll use, but I don't know. I'm gonna test it out literally right now. I need to go and brush my teeth because I just had Cheetos. Also, here is the double sided body tape. I need this because you know that brown dress I literally showed you guys what yesterday or the day before? It's like so open at the front. Like, I need double sided body tape. So, I ordered this one, but this is not the one that I've ordered before. Uh, but we're gonna test it out next week because I'll probably be wearing that brown fit anyway. Other than that, that's what I ordered from Amazon. I am waiting for other things like I've got perfume orders that still ain't come. I ordered from Sports Direct. I ordered from PLT again. Like I got a hell of stuff that's just nowhere to be seen. But um, that's all that I have now. That's all that came today on a Sunday. So I'm kind of grateful for that. I might still be going out tonight, but I'm not sure. I probably won't. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna tune in a little bit later because I got things to do. Honestly, this has been such a chill house vlog, like in the house. Um, I've just been in my thoughts, like it's been bad. But you know what? I'll be back on track in my next vlog because today is Sunday and I actually start a new vlog tomorrow. In that vlog, I got my nails. I'm doing like a maintenance day. I think I'm going to dinner. Like I've got a few things in that vlog, so that will be a bit more interesting than this one. But this one's literally just chilling in the house. What I am going to do for you guys is show you my jelly sheet pieces because I've had these pieces sitting here and I keep saying, oh my days, I need to show them, show them. I have been literally, literally been marinating in my faha and my um, waist trainer. So it's about time. I'm going to quickly try on these pieces. I think there's about four or five. I'm going to link them down below and I'm going to cut out this vlog because guys, I've actually in my thoughts like from that last, not the last clip, but the clip earlier in this vlog when I was talking about like the whole bbl stuff like it's not playing on my mind it's not playing on my mind however i am like thinking about it i'm just wondering like raw like people are really really fucked <laughs> but also just to add in one of my perfumes did arrive i did order the black opium because i felt like i needed to re-up i haven't had a black opium in ages and i just missed the smell i feel like i also missed the smell of the prada candy as well i might have to get another one all my days and the deep dior hypnotic poison like there's a few perfumes that i really missed the smell of so i'm gonna dab myself up and get those two yeah i'm gonna just tune in and do this haul so stay tuned for that so while now I'm talking about the clothes, I will have the video coming right here on the screen. But starting off strong, I have the black 
sexy pencil skirt dress and it has a open cut inside the stomach area i've actually worn this dress literally recently like three days ago so i will insert a picture it does have a knot on the front which i think is very very nice it's long it's got a slit it's cute i can't lie i got it in a size medium i probably could have got a small because the the materials really figure hugging um and it's very stretchy I really like it. I'm not really a fan of like open stomach clothes, but this one really shocked me. Everyone seems to like it. I posted it on my Instagram, so make sure you go and check that out. Next, we have this set. Now, I've worn this as well, so I'm going to enter a picture of this one too. This one really looks good. This one looks good on the body. I think it's actually pyjamas. Honestly, I think it really is. It comes with the shorts. The shorts have a drawstring. The shorts fit me very, very well. I actually got this set in a size large. It comes with a button-up t-shirt, which it actually does look like pyjamas, honestly. But wearing it as a two-piece set hits different. I might have to get another colour. I might have to get another colour. I'm thinking to get the green one. So if you're watching this jelly sheet, I would like the green one, please. Next, we have this dark grey solid oblique dress. Now, this is similar to the cuckoo dress. So, if you're looking for a good cuckoo dupe, this is your this is your girl right here. Very, very stretchy. I will not lie to you. I could have sized up. I got a medium. I could have got a large. A large would have fit better. This is quite tight and it is quite short, but it fits good. So, if I want to take a good picture, this is my girl. It's one shoulder. Um, it's a little bit see-through. But once you have it on, you don't see nothing. But like, if I hold it up a bit, you can potentially see some of the lighting on the wall. So that's the only thing. But it's very nice. The quality is good. I'm not sure how the actual cuckoo one feels, but to me, they look the same. I don't see any differences. Next, we have the red solid bandage set. It comes with these long pants, which I, oh, this might fit me very snug, actually. What size did I even get this in? I got this in a size medium. This is going to fit me very good, actually. This is cute. I think this will look nice with court heels because it has kind of like straight legs at the bottom. Kind of flare, actually. So I think this will look very nice with court heels. It comes with like a mini shirt that has like a tie knit at the bottom that can tie into a bow and tie around my body. This is cute. I can't wait to wear this. I feel like this is going to look very, very nice. I like the fact that it doesn't have any buttons at the front so I can literally create my own cover up instead of it being buttoned down and just ugh. Next we have the white solid backless jumpsuit. This is literally a plain jumpsuit that has a backless part. Like it's giving coke milk body it's giving coke bottle milk bottle body like it, it's cute i really like the back detail it has a drawstring and it has like an open area i definitely got in a size medium it's super super long i did get white because i wanted to be different i don't have any white jumpsuits but honestly i feel like this would slap better in black so i might have to get the black one as well but um it's cute and you can wear it on a night out as well as well as like a casual shopping like it don't have to be dressed up that's what i like about it and finally the last thing i got is this gray solid set so this is literally two-piece velvet tracksuit this is super super cute like i love stuff like this like i just love easy two-piece and the material looks so so good like yeah this is literally my vibe i love two-piece tracksuits i actually got this in a size of medium as well it's giving proper stretch, that's what I like as well. Comes with a zip up hoodie, which is also the same colour, same material. Got a bit of drawstring as well, which is what we appreciate. And it has real pockets because I really hate, I really hate when things pop, don't have real pockets. Like, it has some real pockets, which is something I like. You can wear this with trainers, you can even wear it with heels. If you style it properly, you can actually wear a pair of heels. I personally wouldn't wear this one with a pair of heels, or would I? I don't know, I probably would if I do it properly, but the whole look has to really combine itself together. But literally, that's the last piece that I got. I can't wait to actually wear these out, like, because I've been dressing up to go out, but I haven't been really dressing up, dressing up. So, I feel like these these pieces, I could really put them to the test. Um, But you obviously saw two pieces that I've worn already on the gram. Those look good. I think I killed those. And I'm going to try and do that red fit as well like that red fit is speaking to me that silver dress is speaking to me i feel like i picked a good little six pieces as well so thank you to wholesale 21 aka jelly she for sending me these beautiful pieces and they'll be linked down below so if you are interested my discount code as well as every piece that i've mentioned will be linked down below also the size references will be down below as well to show you guys what size i got and so you can estimate what will fit you but on that note i'd like to end up today's vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and comment down below what you thought about that little rant that i had because i'm actually very interested